Okay, bro. Let's first what we can do is we will take a block and I will teach you how to put a chamfer in this. So let's take one block here. Bro, are you okay with 2D, bro? Yeah, I'm okay. No problem. Okay. So let's take one solid. I'm giving some chamfer, one distance chamfer. I'm giving in each type. Okay. So distance three mm. Then create curve curve analysis. I'm selecting this and giving okay and giving okay for this. Okay. Yeah. Now what I'm doing is I'm going for properties, stock setup, all solids. Okay. Now what we are going to do is right click mill tool part contour. So when you do chamfer, you always want to select the larger chain, which is the bigger chain you want to select. You want to select the maximum chain and press OK. Then you go to tool, right click, create new tool. Then you go to chamfer mill. And what is the diameter you want to input? And what is the tip diameter? That is zero. And what is your chamfer angle you want to mention? Like 30 degree or 45 degree, you can mention it. So this is the cutter diameter, and this is the chamfer angle, and tip diameter should be zero. Okay. Okay. If the chamfer is 30 degree, you are using 30 degree tool, you can mention it 30 degree. If it is 45 degree, you mention 45 degree. Okay. Okay. So cutting diameter, tip will be sharp, and chamfer angle you want to plug in, finish. Then you go for cut parameter. In cut parameter, you change this 2D to 2D chamfer. 2D chamfer. In chamfer, you want to mention what is the width you want to mission. How much chamfer? 3 mm you want to mission per set. Correct? Yeah, correct. Tip offset, 1 mm. Tip offset, 1 mm. This is, I will make it as 0. Then I will explain you what is this. Okay, side we want to remove 3 mm. After that, let's go to link in parameter and keep absolute. And you want to mention what is the top of stock value and what is the depth value. So top of stock means right click Z. It is starting from here. And depth we will give this point. Correct, bro? Minus. Yeah, that. correct. But in this chamfer, remember what is the value of top of stock? Same value you want to give it in depth. You should not give minus values. If you if your part has chamfer and starting from minus 20, you give top of stock minus 20 and depth also minus 20. Can you understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay. This is 0, 0 and feed plane 5 mm and retract 25. That's it. So cut parameter 2D chamfer 3 mm side. I am going to machine. This is top of stock and depth should be same. After that, same and give OK. Now you can see I'm keeping in right view. I'm doing back plot. Pressing S. Now you can see the chamfer is properly merged. But if it runs edge to edge, there will be a small burr in this area. Can you understand? Yeah, I understood. So the tool should come a little bit down. So for that, we are going for cut parameters. And in tip offset, I'm plugging the this value as 1 mm. And if you give OK, then you do region rate. So what will happen means? So it is coming like this and it's start plunging down. OK? OK. Yeah. So sideways, it is like 6 mm. Sideways, it is like sideways 3 mm stock is there. We can't remove it in one pass. Correct, bro? So that. Yeah. We should not use depth of cut. Instead of depth of cut, we use multi passes. I'm clicking this multi passes. And let's say we have how so much 3 mm. So I'm keeping six number of passes. My number of passes equal to six. And spacing will be 0.5. Can you understand, bro? Yeah, I understand. 
six passes point five and last one finish pass that is spacing of O5. And what is the feed rate and what is the spindle speed? You can maintain it. Okay. And for each step, it should uh, find do finishing or final depth. Only in final depth, it should do finishing. Uh, for uh, to avoid unnecessary interactions, you can keep you can select keep tool down. Okay. Now, if you okay. give OK and you do regenerate, I'm just verifying it. Pressing enter. Yes. Back plot. Now, can you see? Yeah. It's removing little bit, little bit, little bit like this. Okay. 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 